once again liver, right? Right, because even though you may have a hard time recognizing at first as being liver, when you come up here to an area which has more of a normal cord-like liver architecture with uh, hepatocytes, you could then instantly realize that it is. Another thing that you will notice is that there's a tremendous amount of chronic inflammatory cells studded throughout the liver, both as little clusters, lymphoid clusters, like here and like here, as well as very significantly diffusely throughout the liver parenchyma everywhere. So let's uh, verify that by showing you there are probably more lymphocytes in these fields than there are uh, liver cells. Another thing that you will recognize is that uh, if this is mature fibrous tissue, which it is because it's a large portal area, you do not see a much mature fibrous tissue uh, within the liver uh, forming nodules. So it's not cirrhosis, but it is a whopping uh, hepatitis, isn't it? And if we studied this for a long time, or if you would like to study it for hours, you can. But if you would rather just uh, trust me and look at another portal area, perhaps over here, uh, you could see uh, something that is totally diagnostic as to what's causing this whopping hepatitis. Now, you know ABCDEFG viruses can do it, and then you had this long list of uh, adenoviruses, yellow fever, CME, herpes, blah, 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 Epstein-Barr. Whenever you see what is an obviously a viral hepatitis, and you could find cells like this at the tip of the arrow, which have very, very basophilic, you know, not eosinophilic like herpes, but basophilic intranuclear inclusions, you can diagnose CMV hepatitis, which this is. Because CMV affecting any cell in the body, uh, including kidney or a whole bunch of other places, will eventually cause these intensely basophilic intranuclear inclusions. Um, Want to find some more? Here we go. Here's some more. Look at them. One, two, three, four. If this was the only field you saw right away, you'd be able to make the diagnosis instantly, wouldn't you? Thank you very much.